Hey guys, Sandy here. Another quick update. Uh, as we leave summer, I will be slowly getting back into uh, getting all my projects up and running again. Um, yeah, I mean it's not a it's not a big deal. Um, I don't I don't like posting videos unless I have something of value to state. So, anyways, this uh, this workstation has been updated a bit more. I've got two more Lolito Pies, so I'm considering, uh, you know, either I'll just attach another piece of board so that I can fit the extra, I'll move the Opus up to here, and then I'll have two, these two LIIs placed here and here. I think that's what I'll do. It'll be a little annoying, but I don't think it's too hard to just add some extra uh, wood to this, this whole plate. I still haven't put drywall right here like I said I would, but that's okay. I, I was able to get this done up and I did a little bit of testing and I did my math wrong. So this is well overpowered. This buck converter is well overpowered for what its, uh, its job is to do. So it's about 8 amps. I'm going to say 12 amps, uh, worst case scenario, that is being consumed by this group. And I, I think I, I used way too small of wire for joining them all, but I kind of rectified it by putting this very thick wire at the start of it. Uh, so there is a lot of heat buildup, but uh, in the future I'll have to redo that. So if you do this kind of design, use very thick wire, but you may actually what would be better to do is to run separate wires from each one or you could create a bus bar down a bus bar down below of thick wire and then thin wires connecting to your uh, bus bars uh, it's you know that's the only downside to this design uh, other than you can see I did like a, I did four where the negative of the battery holder goes directly onto the circuit board but uh, the way it is I had to do it in groups of three and the third one would have to go on quite a bit of well both of them would have to go on quite a bit of an angle if you just do them in groups of two it's not too bad the angle of solder that you have to do in order for it to direct connect but in groups of three is pretty good and then in groups of four is almost impossible so you'll end up with little spaces every so often but it's not a big deal it's pretty nice buying these in bulk so that you can easily group them together uh, it seems to be just fine but uh, I need to put another fan probably here pushing air downward and another one pushing air that way maybe but I don't know if that's a good idea I do uh, I think the biggest problem is there's a lot of heat buildup on these TP4056s. Uh, one person suggested to me to do heat sinks. I forget if it was Steve or not. I think it was maybe Steve that said he had tiny little heat sinks that he'd put on the chips because they get extremely hot. So that's that's another thing that would be an improvement. I have this plastic holder, uh, acrylic holder that I bought. So it's it's pretty nice. I'm going to put an on-off switch onto this unit because I almost never use it. So I'd probably just put it somewhere right here. Uh, just one of those tiny on-off switches. I also bought one of these. Uh, I'm going to play around with it, test it out. But it's very fascinating. Really piqued my interest and I can even upgrade it, put a fan on-off system. I was tracing uh, the wiring in it to see uh, what I could do to it. So yeah, very very interesting. I'll have to play with it and put heat sinks on it for sure. So yeah, I'll, I'll make another video uh, properly going over some of this stuff, but I just wanted to make a quick video since uh, you know, I'm still uh, quite busy with other things unfortunately, but uh, I, I will eventually get all this done, plus I have my huge solar panels, uh, 
I have no, I forget what wattage they are, so I want to hook them up and test them with this stuff eventually. But, uh, you know, I, I want to enjoy summer. Um, so Chris bought my old, my first spot welder, so I had to, I, um, I had to buy new parts to build another one, so I'm gonna have to build another spot welder. It'll be almost identical to the last one. I got a bunch of, from the, um, municipal recycling depot, I just jumped into their dumpster and pulled out a microwave and a bunch of computer parts and, um, worked out quite well. Uh, if it's a recycling depot, I should be allowed to recycle things that are being thrown out, so, um, you know, that's, that's my view on that situation, but, um, everything else is, you know, uh, this I'm quite proud of, this design. Uh, I'll do a video explaining it once I get around to finishing it, but, uh, yeah, that's just been sitting, because I ran into a hiccup, a little hiccup, and then it just stalled out, uh, but I want to make sure I enjoy my summer, and, uh, because winter is long and cold, so I, I don't feel like, you know, I don't feel like freezing, so... Anyways, uh, yeah, just thought it'd be a quick update and just show you what I've run into. Um, too thin of wire, for sure. Um, each TP4056 consumes somewhere over 500 milliamps, so um, these guys are overkill, which is good because uh, they don't get crazy hot, but they can. Yeah, that's, it is hot, but it's not too bad, so I want a fan here pushing down. These get very hot right here, so I might take apart these the TP or these LII 500s and put heat sinks onto the uh, onto the uh, MOSFETs or whatever they are. But yeah, I'm I'm processing these batteries. Most of them were garbage, unfortunately. Uh, I haven't found any good batteries. Like they're they're not terrible. Um, so each cell has like. 19 somewhere around or under 1900 milliamp hours each cell does so. um but yeah it's unfortunate that all the ones i bought were technically uh a financial loss for me but yeah no big deal so anyways hope you like that hope it was uh gave you a little bit of an idea of something you could do for your own uh, charging station use drywall always use drywall all right. Thanks, guys.